how to appreciate Chinese calligraphy is a big question that everybody asks in the very beginning. Here is an example of the top three most famous Chinese calligraphy piece of works. The, one of the most celebrated calligrapher and huge scholar of all time, Su Dongpo. These characters, what we make of it, it doesn't really mean anything to if you don't know Chinese per se. But on the page, perhaps you can observe already these big contrasts, big blobs and short, small, thin lines is a contrast. Big characters and small characters is a contrast and wavy lines and blo blotchy lines. The gray, the ink itself, if it's a lot of ink or dry, a little bit dry, if it's wet or dry, or if it's very dark or light, all these contrasts that we can observe is the first aspect we can see to appreciate Chinese calligraphy is the visual aspect. If it's aesthetically balanced, if it's interesting, that's the visual aspect. Another aspect is the content itself, the poetry, the prose, uh, the message of this literature. Does that match with the calligraphy, the emotions that we can observe from just looking at the graphics? But anyway, if you're not standing Chinese, not of Chinese season or have no previous Chinese knowledge, you're still able to appreciate it just in the first aspect, the aesthetics. Okay. So what is considered good or bad? Well, if you look into history, you will see every calligrapher has their own style, has a personal, special character, personality. This is what I believe in also what I want to promote is that it's just like your face. Everybody can be beautiful. Everybody has their own beauty. It's a matter of if you're healthy and you're clean, you are very beautiful. Okay. It's not how big your eyes are or how tall your nose is. It's not that. Okay. So the beauty, the aesthetics in Chinese calligraphy is not in if this looks good or how, how a specific shape. It's not in that, but something deeper. So we need to really learn how to identify a healthy stroke or healthy piece of work or clean piece of work. Okay, so anyway, next then I would like to also give you a little bit of idea of different script styles in Chinese calligraphy. This is an overview of Chinese calligraphy. So for every one single character, there are five different ways to write it. These script styles are developed over time. Okay, from the very beginning, the seal script style, seal script style on the left hand side. Okay, you can see the beginning and end of each stroke is very round, rounded. This is the same character, by the way. And the second script style developed in the Han Dynasty is a clerical script style. Now we have more variation in terms of stroke width. Okay, the first style, seal script style, is all the same, uniform in terms of stroke width, right? It's uh, the same width. No thicker or no thinner lines. It's the same because these this first script style is written not really written with a brush pen, but it's carved in with a very sharp utensil. Okay, so if it's like a knife or a sharp something sharp, it's the same thickness. Okay, no, not like a brush. You can press down and then the line becomes thicker. Not like that. Okay, in the seal script style, it's the same width. In the second script style, the clerical, by this time, brush had been invented. So we have this variation in terms of thickness, right? The thicker lines and thinner lines. And there is a very special line, the horizontal line, that characterizes the second script style. And then the third script style is the standard script style. This is what we, we are used to looking at right now. As a modern day uh, Chinese person, you can understand this character. This is what we use. And then the running and cursive script style, though, they develop alongside the commoner's writing, okay, like a colloquial speaking style. We have an official language and a more colloquial, you know, the handwritten, the more casual script style rather than official text. This is just a very brief overview, so you have an idea. We'll get into each script style in deeper and more in depth uh, later on if you are interested in taking a series of seminar. If you have any question, please leave your comment in the comment box. Also join my school community for more in-depth calligraphy practice.